All right. Well, welcome, everyone. Welcome to the webinar. My name is Dr. Kirk Fisnick, for those of you who don't know me. And, uh, you know, for those of you that are rejoining us uh, by watching a recording of this, uh, thanks for taking the time out of your day to do that. We'll try and keep it around a half hour. Mm -hmm. uh, and bottom line is, is that we've got some serious things going on in the world right now. Uh, if you look at the, uh, the number one killer in the Western world is still heart disease. And there's some things that you can do to help lower your risk. We can't say prevent, we can't say cure, we can't say treat, anything like that. And I want to make you know, very clear on that throughout the rest of this video that we're not making any, uh, we're not or prevent. We're merely saying that let's try and do some things to, to boost your body's own uh, immunity. Uh, and, and I don't know if I can say that. Let's say let's support your, your immune system. And at the same time, let's do some things to help with the cardiovascular system. Let's do some things to, to lower your risk of, of neurodegenerative diseases. Mm -hmm. um, there's things that you can do for that. So, so that's really what we're going to be talking about tonight. Katie, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So that's the subject matter. How's your reception there, Kurt? Is your, is it, because it seems to be good for a second and it cuts out a little Did bit. Did I cut out? Yeah, but you're back now. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay. So, that's going to be the topic of tonight, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. That's exactly the topic. And, you know, I just thought it was like really appropriate to talk about it because, you know, with everything that's going on in the world, there is issues with, the supply chains and, you know, sourcing ingredients and caps and all these kind of things. So, you know, there is some challenges with keeping all our products in stock um, at, at once. And knowing that, then uh, there's certain products that, you know, you want to have on hand. And, you know, I wouldn't want to be in the situation where you're, you're needing some extra nutritional support to help you through whatever you're going through and you don't have it available. Like you just don't have the products in the house and you wanting to have to order them and wait for them, you know, that's not really going to be an, an effective situation. So, um, and I, and I spoke to you about this and I spoke to Carmel about it too. You know, do you, you know, I know, I know obviously Kurt does. And I was asking Carmel, do you keep a stock supply of products in your cupboard for the, for um, a situation where, you know, emergency arises and you feel um, you need some support with your health and, um, you know, so I guess that's really what we wanted to talk about and also talk about, Kurt, you know, for me, uh, for you, uh, what, what, you know, what dosages would you be taking in certain situations and what products, you know, would you have on hand? So, uh, yeah, so I'll maybe I'll hand it back to you or maybe I'll hand it over to Carmel, actually. And Carmel, do you want to share with everyone on the call um, in your words? And Kurt, feel free to chime in as Carmel you know, talks through this, but Carmel, what products you have in your cupboard um, and, you know, and how much of each have you got just in case of this kind of situation? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I get a bit um, concerned about this at the moment, especially with shipping. And I, yeah. I do tend to worry that, you know, at some point we might not be able to get these products. So I do like to have a bit of a supply just in case. Yes. So before I break my back though, I actually had a terrible um, problem with my lungs and I had a cough that I couldn't get on top of and I'd had all sorts of tests done and nobody could help me. But it wasn't until I got onto the sizzle products yeah. that I was able to get rid of my cough. <laughs> so for me, building up my immune system is my most, um, my most important area right now. And I do like to have an extra supply of Body Shield, mm -hmm. Influence, Avenger. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, at the moment, we can't get Avenger, but... Coming um, back, we just put a video up today. Ah, oh, okay. We okay. labeled them and bottled as we speak. Ah, well, I'll be getting that because if, when I first saw the ingredients in that product, I just loved it because I was taking things with those ingredients separately. I'll be getting some and I'll be getting it in several bottles. 
yeah, so I do like to have that. And I find Avenger really, really good for a cough, whether it's a dry cough or a wet cough. Mm -hmm. And I just found it so important for my lungs. So that's a definite one. Mm. And also right now, I like to have Terminator on hand. Mm -hmm. And I do make... <laughs> I do make up little spray bottles for squirting up my nose yes, and in my ears yes. and down my throat as well. And sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I will also put some into my drinking water and drink it. Yep. So, um, yes. So the bottle like this, I don't know if you can see that. So it's yes. just a little glass bottle with a, a spray nozzle and I purchased these on eBay in a pack and then I take some of this and put it in there and you depending what you're using it for you can dilute it down too yes you can yeah. so I've got to have those ones um, and also um, you know as I've been learning now Kurt you might be able to help there's a certain percentage of your immune system that's kept in the gut 70 percent 70 percent 70%. So I like to also make sure I've got balanced D and super detox. <laughs> yes. So they're vital for me as well. Yes. And I find even though I do the super detox, you know, maybe once every three or four months, but sometimes I will take just one capsule of that per day. Right. I think because we've got so many toxins coming at us from every angle the air the water the food everything so I like to keep my detoxing up in that area yeah so regular bowel moves is that something you do hurt too I don't take the super detox on a daily basis um I use it about you know about every two months I'll, I'll do a detox I'll do a full detox uh, I do a couple of other things um, Field okay, um, for my daily. Yeah, you're cutting out. You might, uh, maybe you want to turn the picture off. It might improve the sound. Okay, I must have cut out. I, I, I said I said that uh, I don't use the the super detox on a daily basis. Um, mm -hmm. I use that about every two months, but I do use the. Uh, the balance D and and the um, body shield mm -hmm. on a daily basis because uh, um, those they, they do detox as well they take out the heavy metal. Yeah, uh, Carme, you know, based on what you just said, uh, this new product that we have, the collagen. Um, one of the things that a lot of people aren't aware of. You know, we've all heard of women that get collagen injections like that for beauty. Mm -hmm. And we've heard of using collagen for um, for the joints, you know, the type two collagen for, for your joints. Yeah, our renovate the collagen, the, um, um, de denatured in it, which helps with the joints. But uh, collagen is what holds the cells together in the digestive system and it prevents the leaky gut syndrome. And mm -hmm. so the collagen B3 product would be another one that you really should add if that's something that you're concerned with is, is the digestive system. And, and I've been driving now, I've been driving since eight o'clock this morning. So it's, what is that? Um, uh, 10 hours I've been driving and I've heard uh, a bunch of commercials on the radio um, as I've been driving. And now they're talking about, you know, a new, a new digestive condition um, that they're, that they're, you know, they're basically saying, you might have this instead of Crohn's disease. You might have this instead of colitis. And basically what they're doing is they're describing leaky gut syndrome. Mm. And of course, they, along with the, new, with the new diagnosis, they've got a new drug uh, to put you on, you know, like that mm. Huey Lewis song, um, we've got a new drug. And, uh, but in this case, you know, the collagen, in, in my opinion, it helps tighten up those junctions and it'll actually help to uh, rebuild that gut lining. So, so collagen would really be important, uh, uh, Carmel. Mm, I've just started using it, actually. So yeah. one of my addictive products, like Roz, you know, I'm addicted to the sizzle. 
coffee. <laughs> so I've just started putting the collagen in that as well. And I really love it. So, um, but yeah, the gut health has been something that I've been working on. Mm -hmm. when, I, uh, when I went on medical retirement from teaching, that was almost 20 years ago now. Um, I, I went off because of anxiety and depression. So that's also been a really important area for me. I've had a lot of traumas in the last 20 years or longer than that, actually. So um, I'm aware of how trauma affects the body. So, but I have found with anxiety and especially now with everything happening as well, mm -hmm. if I find myself get a bit uh, nervous about things happening, I'll take a brain vitality during the day. I always take it at night because, uh, well, I think because I was taking a lot of um, turmeric products anyway, mm. and brain vitality has got the Tumor. curcumin in it. So yes. it's, a really, it's a really good source of that. So I like to take brain vitality at night, but for anxiety, I like to take it during the day as well on a, on a needs basis, not all the time, but just sometimes I feel myself getting a bit, bit agitated. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that and also the super omegas right. for anxiety, anxiety and depression. So immune system and anxiety and depression, they're my main things for now. Yeah. Like the previous year, last year, my main focus was on pain, but that's all sorted now. So that's, that's not a main, that. yeah, that's, that's not nice. a main issue for me now. That's great. So, yeah. And and with the, um, you know, anxiety and, yeah, go on, Kurt, you were going to say something? Oh, well, what I was going to say was, is, you know, uh, Carmel, you bring up such good points. You know, you're talking about brain, you're talking about the anxiety, um, and, that, that, and, and you brought up the digestive system. And the big connection there is uh, there, there's two connections. One of them is uh, inflammation. When you look at any neurodegenerative disease, it starts with inflammation. If you listen to Linus Pauling, he got the Nobel Prize twice. Uh, he said, he said that you know that that inflammation is uh, is is the the big connector there, and so that would lead me to say that you know no matter what kind of uh, disease uh, process that you have, or no matter what thing you're you're trying to. Coitin would be a really important. Oh yeah, Coitin. And you know, and, and and started the call. Mm -hmm. What product? Are you cutting it? Just you just want to make sure that you you want to stockpile them. And oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know. I I mean, it says that I have I have uh, all sorts of reception up here. Okay, because it's you're perfect for like quite a few seconds, and then it'll just cut out. Okay. Um, well, I was just, just going to say that you know, you want to stockpile that uh, stockpiled in your in your in your kitchen cupboard. Okay, because so we missed that, but basically, I think you said stockpile like the Boyden. Yes. And eternity. Yes. Yes. I've got I've got because I've got like four bottles of each just in case. Yeah. Well, and, that, and that's what I have too as I actually have four bottles of each on hand. And if you take a look at resveratrol, do a do a Google search on resveratrol and the COVID virus. And you'll find that resveratrol is highly recommended. Yeah. So, Kurt, how long would you sort of suggest um, people stockpile for? Like, I usually have things, um, whew, I try to have things for two months in advance because sometimes yeah, the months. shipping takes longer to get to us. So I really don't like running out. So I like to have like two months supply in advance. But with everything happening, um, you know, with so many strikes and I guess I've got a bit of a fear that one day we might not be able to get 
products from America to Australia. <laughs> so, um, you know, I try to think, you know, how long do we need to stockpile? Right. Well, um, can they get the products from, you know, that might be a concern as well. But I think the big concern is that what if we can't get some of the ingredients? Because right now, um, right now the, the the big companies, the big the big companies bigger than Sizzle are buying up all of the raw ingredients, mm -hmm. and and that's why we tend to run out every once in a while is because you've got the big giants like Coca Cola, that are that are grabbing up all the ingredients mm -hmm. and leaving us with none, and so that's why I think that we need to stockpile a little bit, you know, because because of that and. And, and hopefully the shipping isn't, doesn't become an issue again. It, it looks like we've got that fixed finally. Yeah, we have for Australia. Yeah, I mean, we've got expedited shipping now to Australia and New Zealand. So you're looking at two weeks or less, um, of course, unless you've ordered CBD, which will go economy, which could take four to six weeks, unfortunately. But uh, definitely on the expedited shipping, you know, I think the orders are coming through really quickly. Um, and and are reliable, of course, but with economy, you can't really rely on it. You're going to have to expect worst case scenario with that just because of the nature of that type of shipping. But um, you're right. I mean, I would keep, you know, three months at least. And some products I have, you know, three between three to five months worth. So if I run out, if it runs out, I'm, I'm OK, I'm covered um, at least two months, at the minimum two months worth. So you know, there is a buffer there. So if something runs out, I do the two months and the other product, and we've been talking about the products today, the one that I keep quite a lot of always is the Fucoidin because, you know, the Fucoidin is a product that, and you would probably have done this before too, Carmel, like if I've ever been feeling, you know, a little bit run down or if I've got, you know, a cold sore or a bit of a sore throat, I will really up that dose on the Fucoidin because, you know, also the Fucoidin is a lot easier to take than tablets. So when you were talking before about the brain vitality, I take that in the evening too before bed. But uh, what I do, and it's taken me a while to get used to it, but I crack the capsules open and pop them in a glass. And if you've ever smelt the ingredients in brain vitality, they smell um, really woody, like kind of tree bark almost. Um, like a real fresh nature smell and it's a little bit bitter obviously and what I'll do is I'll empty the three capsules of brain vitality and then I'll add in 30 mils of the fucoidin with it and sometimes you know I'll add in a little bit of you know extra vitamin c and I'll take that um, at night with my TSX and I'll just mix it and add a little bit water and just drink it and I just find that is another great way to take some of the capsules if you can stomach them but if you add something like when you add the fucoidin in with the brain vitality um, it really disguises the taste and so it is it's not that hard to to drink and then just chase it with a little bit of water but that's also a good thing because I know and I've spoken to Dr Kurt about this you know sometimes have trouble getting all those tablets in you know because some of them are quite big um, you know, and fitting them and swallowing them. And some people have a real issue with that. And that's the beautiful thing about our liquids too. Obviously with our liquids, our triangle of life, food and eternity, um, we, don't, we don't have to swallow a capsule. We can just add it to a drink or have it as is. So, um, so that, that's how I take the brain vitality. And so I have that in the evening. But, you know, going back to the food and I just think that is probably one of the most product, uh, important products to have in stock. And it's something that you could give a friend, um, you know, say if you had a brother or a sister that was sick. So I even thought about, oh, if my friend gets sick, you know, I would call them up and just say, would you like, you know, a bottle? And you can drink quite a lot of this, um, can't you, Kurt? Um, personally, what what have you done? How much have you had in one day of the food poison? I think we have lost you. Have we lost you? I'm going to turn your camera off. Kurt. Well, it might help the sound. You still there? Okay, maybe the. Well, that does that help? Yeah, it does seem to help. Okay, perfect. Um, you know, for me, I I've taken I've taken up to nine doses of the fucoidin in one day. Wow. 
So nine of this. <laughs> I'm trying to turn the label. Yeah. And, was, that uh, for, was that for pain, Kurt? Um, you know, I took it. I took it because I I felt like I had I was coming down with some sort of an infection, mm -hmm. and uh, and not with the current situation, but with a, with an infection, I just felt like I was getting kind of you know fluish, kind of that crud, you know that we'll call it kind of crud, mm -hmm. and uh, and and uh, I just find that if I if I take if I take the Ficoidin heavy dose of the Ficoidin, it really does some wonders for me. The guy the guy that does my training for my dogs. Um, He's done the same thing when he had the flu, and he said he said he bounced back from the flu in just a couple of days. You know, and again, you know, that's a testimonial. It's not it's not a, a uh, you know a prescription. Yeah. I'm not saying hey do that. It's just you know it's just something that we've noticed anecdotally that 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 sometimes that tends to work. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, I do that. have. I, I have. I start the morning actually with um, that's a mixture of Fucoidin. And Spectrumax that I oh, put together. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so I have that in the morning, and I have you know a little shot glass of Eternity at night. So even though you know I have those products daily, but I don't tend to stockpile them as much as the smaller ones. I guess it's a matter of space, really. Yeah. But now that we can get them in the like the for for Coiden in the four pack. Yes. I do that and you know the age pill in the six pack so I do get things in the pack these days yeah and I have got a couple of friends here in Ballina sometimes they'll message me and say you know they're not preferred customers as such but they might just say oh Carmel have you got any any um oh, influence or Avenger have you got any of that I really need some at the moment <laughs> so I like to have it on hand yeah 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 the influence is another one of those products especially right now mm -hmm. with everything that's going on in the world without mentioning you know words um i'll just say that influence is a is a great one to have you know it's it's got a lot of the same ingredients that that a, a drug called tamiflu uh has in it and, you know we have the natural versions of of, of what the drug used but basically you know that's what that's what Tom tried to recreate when he made when he made that product, and so if you feel like you're coming down with something, you know, or or like what I do, if I if I if I'm around somebody and they tell me later they say, oh, you know, um, you know, I might want you to know that I have this or that. You know, again, I'm going to try and avoid saying the word, but but if yeah. they say that they're that they're that they came down with a sickness, um, I'll take a double dose of the influence. When right. I've been around them, um, because of because of what's what's in there, I'll take a double dose of the influence. I'll take a double dose of Body Shield. I'll mm -hmm. take a double dose of of the um, of the uh, uh, Eternity. Mm -hmm. And again, yeah. if you do some if you do some research, look at the ingredients on those three products, and just kind of do a, a, a PubMed uh, Google search with that, and you'll see why I do that. Yeah. Right, so jump onto pubmed.gov and type in resveratrol. Is that right, Kurt? And you'll see why Dr. Kurt chooses to use two doses of his, the Eternity. Um, that's a really that's a really interesting ingredient, resveratrol, because when I saw my doctor, um, my doctor is a naturopath and a general practitioner, so he has both degrees, which is great because that's a combination of integrated medicine. So that's where you're bringing. Uh, the best of both disciplines um, in uh, to, to service the patient. So he asked me, did I, was I taking a respiratory product and it needs to be a certain amount? And I said, yeah, I was. And I told him which product. And uh, I can't remember the, op what's the optimum amount of respiratory daily, Kurt, because he actually said to me that he believed that everyone should be taking respiratory daily. Like it's a necessary thing in his opinion to support you know, optimum health. Um, and he did say the dosage. What what uh, what dosage, just out of interest, Kurt, do we have of resveratrol in our eternity? So I so I've heard I've heard um, researchers say anywhere from 250 milligrams all the way up to 350 milligrams. And uh, so if you take a look at our eternity product, um, if you're taking a, just a, a, a you know, a dose of that, the, the recommended dose, you're getting, um, you're getting almost 350 milligrams with each dose. 
Wow. Okay, great. And you'll get better absorption if you hold it in your mouth for, um, you know, a minute, isn't it? And it'll absorb a lot better. Yeah, because it's absorbed into the mucosal membrane um, rather than in the gut lining. Well, it's absorbed in the gut lining too, but but it'll go right into the right into your system if you swish it around in the mouth and let it absorb through the mucosal membrane in your mouth, and it'll go right to work that way. Then the other thing that we have in there is uh, there's you'll notice that there's uh, black pepper in there, yeah. and uh, and black pepper or Szechuan pepper, it actually um, opens up the, 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 the um, receptors so that you can, uh, so you can get that, so that resveratrol is absorbed even faster. So not only do we have the right kind of resveratrol, which is the trans resveratrol versus the cis resveratrol, and we process it correctly so it's not oxidized. Mm. Um, if you listen to any of the recordings that we've done just on, on the product, um, you'll find that, that there's, there's something to that, that if you buy a, um, a pill form of, of resveratrol, which is what's, what most companies sell, most of the time that's been exposed to oxygen. So it's, it's already 90% oxidized by the time you take it, mm. where our product is made in a way that it's not. When you crack that bottle open, that's the first chance that that, that, that resveratrol has had a chance to be exposed to oxygen. Yeah, well, and given that, if you've cracked the bottle open, really is the shelf life, once you've opened it, it's no more really than 30 days, is it? So you don't want to leave it sitting around for a couple, three months or something. Yeah, right? once you open it, you really should try and consume it within, you, you should try and consume it within that 30 days, yeah. Yeah, for optimum results. Um, we've also got some comments in the chat box. So Marilyn was saying, uh, so Marilyn said, I would have thought Encompass and Spectrumax would be at the top of the list because of minerals and trace elements. Uh, and so my thinking on this, and correct me if I'm wrong, Kurt, so they're, you know, trace minerals, they are optimum for, you know, uh, you know, daily function. But when the immune system's looking for a massive boost, the other products that we've, or to, when I say support the immune system, I always want to use the right wording, not make any claims, but uh, that's why we talked about the other products because they're um, more supportive of, you know, immune system. Is that right? That's right. Or yeah, immunity and inflammation, really. Um, you know, here's the deal is that how many people do you know, and, and this is a question I'm asking you and Carmel, think about it. How many people do you know in your life, people, you know, friends, family, and, you know, acquaintances, how many people do you know probably have a mineral deficiency oh i you know and everyone the, probably <laughs> and the thing is what's interesting about that and i've found i can think of three instances of people that i know quite well uh who are quite sick and when they got tested and they went to their doctors and got tested for the seven most common nutrient deficiencies which is a combination of vitamins and minerals and if I can rattle them off, I think it was things like, you know, iron, it was iodine, it was vitamin B12, um, I think B6 might have been in there, calcium, magnesium. So these are all key nutrients. And when they had those range of nutrients tested, they were deficient in, you know, four or more. So generally right. what, what was found from just these three case studies, I guess, of friends, that if somebody had one major deficiency, they had others as well that were going along with it. And so you can imagine like, you know, if somebody's running around with all these nutrient deficiencies, if the immune system can't function that way. And so in that regard, where Marilyn says, you know, Encompass and Spectrumax, yes, that would be um, critical for, you know, long-term maintenance and health and, you know, even short-term, but, you know, getting back to, you know, an immediate emergency where you want a real boost um, you know, we talked, you just mentioned the word, you know, in supporting the body and, um, you know, inflammation is a problem when we're sick or any time when we're in pain and, and also supporting that immune system as well. That's right. Yeah, because a lot of people, you know, probably 99% of people, probably closer to 100%, they could have a nutritional deficiency. Yeah. You know, Harvard Medical did a study on it. And basically, they said we all have, uh, you know, vitamin and mineral deficiencies, but yet we don't show any outward signs of being sick. Yeah. And, and so you could probably go quite a while. I mean, if you ran out of Spectrumax, 
you know, chances are you could go a month without it where really, you know, I would really tell you with what's going on in today's world right now, mm. you don't want to run out of Fukui and you don't want to run out of eternity. You don't mm. want to run out of influence. You don't want to run out of the age pill. I mean, those are the ones that, that in my opinion, you know, a body shield, another one. I mean, if you don't keep them stockpiled on your shelf, you, I mean, you could get yourself into some trouble. Yeah, exactly. And Kurt, with you just mentioned, and, and that was one we hadn't talked about, was the age pill. Do you want to just share a little bit about, is that something you would take when you, you know, yeah, when would you use that? I mean, well, obviously other than every day. <laughs> yeah. When you take a look at, at what resveratrol does, one of the powers of resveratrol is that it empowers the sirtuin genes and the sirtuin genes are doing DNA repair. Yeah. And right now, with everything that's going on, do some reading on it. I'm sure you've already heard of it. Those of you that are on the call, you know, you, you, you're on, you understand this whole RNA thing that they're, that they're messing around with. RNA, DNA, it kind of goes hand in hand, you know, messenger RNA. And, uh, and so we're messing around with some things there that, that, you know, in my opinion, we shouldn't be messing around with. And so we're going to, we might have some, some DNA problems that we got to worry about. Well, resveratrol uh, works to repair that, but guess what the fuel is? You know, I'm driving my truck, my truck's powered by, by gasoline, right? Mm -hmm. And my, so my truck mm -hmm. takes me from here to the, to the West. It takes me from here to the West coast. But if I don't have gasoline, I'm going to be stuck along the highway. So what's the gasoline? What's the fuel for the, for the resveratrol? What's the fuel for the sirtuin genes? NAD. Yeah. Where do you get NAD? Age pill. Yeah, the age pill. So I've got some here. So I yeah. just last night bought the six pack. You know, so I like to have at least six bottles on hand of that one. Because <laughs> there's always someone that wants some. And uh, I always like to have extra that I definitely have not run out of that since it's come out and I am making sure that won't happen. Yeah, and just to tell you how powerful these things are, you know, I'm gonna use my dad as an example. I'll, I'll give kind of a, uh, uh, a testimonial. You know, my dad is, is 84 years old. He'll be, he'll be 85 this year. And, uh, and he, uh, he uh, when I was getting ready to leave, he called me and he said, hey, I need this, this, this. And, uh, and, and, you know, I mean, he wouldn't be doing that if he didn't know that it was important. He wouldn't be doing it if he didn't notice. Um, and, and I'm going to be honest, my dad has run out of those, these things in the past. And, and then he noticed that, hey, I don't feel as good. And that's my testimonial that my dad uh, in his 80s, he'll, uh, he'll make sure that he doesn't run out of those things now. So when I was getting ready to leave this morning, I had to set those things out on the, on the on kitchen cabinet so that he could pick them up at my house. So, so like, you know, like, like Katie and, and, uh, and Carmel are saying, don't just stockpile for yourself, stockpile mm -hmm. for those people that may not be, um, you know, they may not be, be thinking ahead. Mm -hmm. Um, and, or maybe there, maybe there's just somebody that, that, you know, that, that you want to make sure and have it on hand for them as well as for yourself. Yeah, fantastic. All right, well, that was great. I think we've covered it. That was a good uh, closing to share that testimonial. And uh, we've gone through all the products. We're at 35 past the hour. So do you want to say anything in closing, Carmel or Kurt? Um, well, I'm about to order myself a full pack of Fakoidin. <laughs> And I'll get some extra, I've already got some extra eternity, but I'll go in and get some extra Spectrumax as well. So I'll start, I'll start to stockpile the liquids as well. Yeah. 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 yeah, you never you never want to run out of those products. You want to make sure that they're and like Marilyn said, I mean, if you if you can stockpile the Spectrumax to have it on hand. I mean, any of those products that you find, you know, like Carmel's talking about brain vitality, I've got to keep that on hand because that's another one of the products my dad said. I mean, he started taking that and within two weeks he came to me and said, Kurt, this product really makes a difference. He says, I can tell that it works. So I never run out of brain vitality when, when the company, you know, um, was, ru was running low on brain vitality. I still had enough for two more months sitting in my kitchen cabinet. Yeah. And, uh, and, and when, when sizzle ran out, Kurt didn't. And, mm -hmm. uh, and, and, you know, because not for me so much, I actually quit taking it and mm -hmm. I saved what I had for my dad. 
And, you know, because I, I know that he, he really likes to have that on hand, but, you know, as we're talking about these things again, you know, I just want to stress for, for anybody that's, that's listening, we're not trying to say cure or treat or, or prevent or anything like that. We're really just trying to say that, that, you know, if you can, if you can get your body optimized, if you can get your immune system optimized, if you can get rid of those, those senescent cells out of your body, which some of these products will, will help do, it'll, it'll make it so that your immune system will be stronger. Mm -hmm. And that's ultimately what we're trying to do. Keep the inflammation down, keep your immune system strong. So. Yeah. Fantastic. All right. Great. Thanks everyone for jumping on today. We had issues with our live stream. So we're going to upload the recording here in a few minutes and uh, appreciate you getting on. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Bye.